In this lecture, we are going to solve one question on Norton's theorem and uh, the network in the question will involve one dependent source and therefore we are going to learn how to use Norton's theorem when the network is having dependent sources present. And uh, you can see the question in front of you and according to the question, we need to develop the Norton's equivalent circuit between the terminals X and Y terminal X, terminal Y and we need to develop the Norton's equivalent circuit between the two terminals. And uh, when you observe the given network, you will find here we have one dependent source present and uh, if we talk about the Norton's equivalent circuit, then we know that in case of Norton's equivalent circuit, we have current source I n in parallel with resistance R n. So to have the Norton's equivalent circuit, we need I n and we need resistance R n. And uh, we will first calculate current I n. We will first calculate the Norton's equivalent current I n. Now to calculate current I n, we will make one modification in our network. And the modification will be short circuiting the two terminals and uh, the current through the short circuit will be Norton's equivalent current I n. Now to calculate current I n, we will focus on this node. Current leaving this node is I n. Current entering this node is 2 time I x and one more current entering this node is let's say I 1. Now when you apply KCL at this node, you will have current I n equal to current I 1 plus 2 time I x. And uh, I will say this is my equation number 1. Our main aim is to find out current I n and we can have current I n if we can calculate current I 1 and current I x. So now we will shift our focus on calculating current I1 and current I X. When you focus on this section of the network, you will find across 4 ohm resistor, the potential difference is 10 volts and the current through 4 ohm resistor is IX. Therefore, IX will be equal to 10 volts divided by 4 ohms. From here, we will have current Ix equal to 2.5 amperes. So in this way, we have calculated current Ix and uh, now we will calculate current I1. Current I1 will be equal to 10 volts divided by 5 ohms. Why? Because if I assume this node to be node A and this node to be node B, then this node will be node B as well. There is no potential drop in this wire. So potential here will be same as potential here. So from here we can see that VAB is equal to 10 volts and across 5 ohm resistor voltage is VAB. So current I1 will be equal to 10 volts divided by 5 amperes giving us current I1 equal to 2 amperes. Now from equation 1, we will have current I n equal to 2 plus 2 multiplied to 2.5. When you solve it, you will have current I n equal to 7 amperes. So in this way, we have calculated current I n. And uh, now we will move on to the calculation of resistance R n. And uh, we know in order to calculate Rn, we need to turn off all the independent sources present in the network. There is only one independent source and it is a voltage source. So we will turn it off by replacing it with a short circuit. And Rn is the resistance between the two terminals. And to calculate it, we will first calculate Ix. Ix, when you apply KVL in this loop, you will find Ix is equal to 0 ampere. 
and therefore 2 times ix will also be equal to 0 and this source will be open circuited it is a current source and therefore we will open circuit it and uh, finally we can visualize that resistance rn is equal to 5 ohms the norton's equivalent resistance is equal to 5 ohms so now we have everything to have our norton's equivalent circuit we will have current source with value 7 amperes in parallel with resistance with value 5 ohms this is our norton's equivalent circuit for this network